Score, all tied up at one each, and we'll break this tie right now with a musical problem. You're about to meet a young man with a very fine voice, that I'll tell you, and you'll agree, who's making his very first public appearance, television anywhere. I'd say that tonight he's launching his career in show business, but first, play or pass on this singing problem, Dr. Misnitz. Play. We'll play. Now, actually, we're going to try to confuse you a little. A couple of days ago, this young man and I went into a studio together. I played piano for him, and he made a recording. We're going to play that recording, and three young men are going to come out here and go through the motions of lip-syncing to the record and the appropriate gestures. All you'll have to do is tell me when the problem is completed which one of these three young fellows owns the voice on this recording. Record, Mr. X. I must comment, what a lovely voice in this day and age of such wild singing going on with young men and young women. Dr. Ms. Nitz, which one of these three young men owns the voice on that recording? I think it was Y. I think it's X. Well, I thought Y was in better time. Well, I think X had his general posture and everything just, just right. I think it's X. X. You agree with your husband on this? You say that Mr. X owns the voice on that recording. Mr. X, do you? Yes, I do. Yes, he does. You score the point. <laughs> Mr. X, I'll be back to you in just a moment. Mr. Y, good job. Thank you. Your name is? Brian Perot. Your occupation, Brian? An apprentice makeup artist. Very good. Nice having you here. Mr. Z? My name is Philippe Pelletier, and I'm working for Air France. Ah, good. Welcome to our shores. Nice having you here. Mike, take a close-up of Mr. X. Got a good shot of him? His dad is probably my all-time favorite singer. This is young Dick Hames, Jr. <laughs> I'm personally very proud of it. 19 years old and low notes like that. Shame on you. Oh, it's all due to my, my grandmother, Mrs. Hames. <laughs> Has she been coaching you? She worked you with me for two years. Yeah, well, nobody a, like her. No, and she's a fine... Marguerite Hames. That's right. Fine vocal coach. Oh, yes. You're an excellent singer, too, I might add. Oh, thank you very she much. She would a pretty voice. Could maybe I talk you into doing... Could maybe. They've been rehearsing. Do a live song for us. Oh, I'd love to. Like that, audience? <laughs> In just a moment, Dick Hames Jr. Dick, you find a spot over there. Thank you, boys, for being on Play Your Hunch. And we'll be back in just a moment with a song from Dick, right after this message. Dick Hames Jr. and I are just standing here quietly complimenting our brand new orchestra leader on Player Hunch, and I ask for your applause at this time. A very talented man we're proud to have here. Pianist, fine composer, fine conductor, Joe Harnell. <laughs> Joe, of course, responsible for... Uh, accompanying and conducting for Peggy Lee. And I believe you wrote the arrangement of Fever for Peggy, didn't you? 
we're proud to have him here. But right now, Dick Haynes Jr., the spotlight is yours, and uh, we wish you well. Is this going to be a big career for you? Oh, I hope so. Yeah, and he also writes some fine songs, but this one he didn't write. This one's called Bye Bye Blackbird. Dick Haynes Jr. Pack up all my care and woe. Here I go, singing low. Bye, bye, Blackbird. Where somebody waits for me, sugar sweet, and so is she. Bye, bye, Blackbird. No one here will love and understand me. Oh, what hard luck stories they all hand me. Make my bed and light the light. I'll be home late tonight. Blackbird, bye bye. No one here will love and understand me. Oh, what hard luck stories they all hand me. Make my bed, light the light, I'll be home late tonight. Blackbird, 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 bye-bye. Dick Haynes Jr., and for a first time ever performing in public, that's a very auspicious start, Dick, and things will go very well. Lovely sound. Just great. 